Okay. Hi, I'm Lana and this is Leanne and we're Designers for Life and we're going to talk about making the bed today. want to tell you about is kind of all the terms that are involved in bedding. Yes, and the first thing that we have are the Euro Shams, which are at the very back of the bed in the chocolate brown leather, and they just sort of anchor the headboard at the back, and then in front of that, the Shams. Now a sham is just what you put your bed pillow in, so in this case we're in a king size bed, so it's a king size just regular pillow that goes in there, and that's in the mat -lise. Yes. In front of that, then, we have our accent or toss pillows, and those are gonna be in one of our accent colors, and in this case, they're a pleated fabric, so they give a little bit different texture. In front of that, we have our base, which is our duvet, or it could be a comforter, either or. It's gonna be the main base of the, maybe the neutral. Yes, the base color mm -hmm. and probably the base pattern as well. In this case, we've got kind of a geometric, it's got a little bit of blue and a little bit of beige in it. Mm -hmm. And the geometric pattern is actually working really well with the wallpaper above because it's got this crazy organic pattern and lots of birds. We don't wanna compete with the wallpaper because that's the sort of the feature of the room. And then in front of that, we've got the very last layer, which is the coverlet on the end of the bed. And a coverlet is just, it's usually non-stuffed, it's not yeah. down, it's just a folded, sometimes it's a blanket, and sometimes it's actually a bed cover that, like a king size bed cover. Yes. We've just folded that, and again, it's in our accent color, the pink. If it's not wide enough, then it's gonna look a little bit, uh... it can look small, it can look chintzy, and it can kind of like, the ta if it has tassels or anything, they can kind of, it just won't look right. Just don't, just don't <laughs> that's do what this it. means. It doesn't look good. <laughs> your coverlet or your blanket that's on the end of the bed that's folded should be at least the full width of your bed, if not a or little more. bit more, so that it can hang over the edge, yeah. have a nice drape. And if you want the bed to have a little bit more of a tailored look, it'd be long enough so you can actually tuck it down in the sides a little bit. Yeah. Tuck it into the frame above the bed skirt or above the bed frame itself. Yes. The other thing with the coverlet is um, we want to layer the textures. That's yes. one of our tips for making the bed is a really nice staggering of textures, a smooth cotton, mm -hmm. um, maybe even something shiny satin. Yeah. We've got leather in this case in our euros and as Leanne said, the pleats as well. So make sure that, you know, mat -lise, pleat, cotton, keep it all mixed up. Now you probably want to know, how do you start with your bed scheme? You want to determine what your main color is first. And yes. maybe that comes off your accent, your wallpaper, which is a feature. Maybe it's a piece of art that you have in the room, or maybe it's just your favorite color. <laughs> it could even just, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> it could even just be white. <laughs> Well, that's actually true. Like it could even just be white. You can yeah. do all white, everything. But if you want to layer some colors, then this is how you do it. So your main color, if you're picking it from the wallpaper, in this case, what we did is we took the base color of the wallpaper and we put that on our duvet. And that becomes your base, your main color. Mm -hmm. And then for picking your accent color, We've chosen the kind of rosy pink that's also in the wallpaper. We're just using the wallpaper for all the inspiration here. And do that in the coverlet as well as the shams. And what's really nice is that most coverlets will come with shams or have an option to buy matching shams. And then you've already got a really nice color separation. You've already repeated that color. Now we have chosen in this scenario to pick a couple different accent colors. Uh, it gives you a little bit more depth, a little bit more interest and you don't have to be afraid to just have one. You don't have to yeah. just have red pillows or something like that. You can layer those neutrals as well for accents. Layering whites, you can layer different shades of white. Yes. You could do whites and creams, or if you do all white, you can just vary the textures. Let's start. talk about tips for making the bed, because uh, it can be kind of hard to know where to start and how to get the best look. Mm -hmm. uh, we love tucking in the duvet. So even though you got this kind of yes. like puffy, uh, thing that's not doing what you want it to do, if you tuck it in, then that really helps give it a little bit more tailored look. If you like your pillows to be a little plumper, so for example, the 
the euros at the back or even the shams in the middle, get a filler that's a little bit bigger. Yes. So say if your euro sham is 26 inch square, look for a filler that's 28 inch square and, and stuff it in there. Stuff it right in. <laughs> it's gonna make it nice and plump and full. <laughs> if you like a little bit more of a relaxed, sort of shaggy look, then get the same size filler to go inside. Now I was totally gonna relate pillows to jeans. If you wanna look <laughs> stuffed into your jeans, <laughs> wear a smaller size. And if you wanna look loose and relaxed, then wear a bigger size. <laughs> it's kind of it's, the same. It's all personal preference. <laughs> <laughs> and what you want that look to be. And I was gonna say, so our bed looks really good and it's mm -hmm. all matching and very well layered. So coordinated. What do your pajamas look like, Leah? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Leah's not happy. I didn't know this was part of the gig. So this is reality. It's a little bit of a mess, but you can still have a really gorgeous bed while you're wearing all this crap.